An effort by Ubisoft to have people stop throwing rocks at their cars over the delay of Rayman Legends on the Wii U, it was announced that Ubisoft would be releasing the Rayman Legends Challenge app on the eShop free of charge. Is this enough to redeem Ubisoft in Wii U owners' eyes? Let's find... Let's find out. Fans of the demo will be happy to know that all three levels from the demo are included in the Challenge app. That's good news for all those basic bundle owners who haven't bought an external hard drive yet. Or who did and it wasn't compatible! But it's fine. It's fine. Because I get to play Black Betty as many times as I want now! But the main focus is on the challenges, and holy crap, they put some work into this. There are both daily and weekly challenges in both regular and... EXTREME FLAVOR! Sorry. The challenges we've seen so far are get to the end fastest, collect llamas the fastest, and how far can you go? The last one especially have been both the most entertaining and most hair-pulling, frustrating challenges I've endured. In every single one I've endured, there is always that one fucking part that always destroys me. Most of the gameplay is done with the touchscreen, like moving objects, defeating enemies, and highlighting lumps. But while this is Legend's big selling point, it's also a major concern. See, while the gameplay is fine, 90% of the time I've been focusing on this touchscreen. And while that is amazing, there lies the problem. Here I am focusing on this touchscreen, while Rayman Legends give us some of the best graphics we've seen on the Wii U so far. All I want to do is let my HDMI cable fill my eyes with all its beauty, and yet I can't because I gotta move stuff out of the way. Something that has been MIA from Nintendo consoles is the simple presence of leaderboards. For Nintendo purists, you finally get why 360 and PS3 fanboys go nuts for this kind of thing. After completing, or dying, you get information on the gamepad showing where your highest rank is, as well as comparing you to your friends and your country, as well as giving you the top 10 so you can look at them and go, HOW? At the end of each day or week, depending on the challenge, you get a cup determined to your rank. Bronze, silver, gold, or diamond if you are a godlike or a Ubisoft employee, which gives you lums and points. Points which are put towards your awesomeness, which unlocks the, uh, <clears throat> EXTREME CHALLENGES, or as I call them, I WANNA DIE OVER AND OVER AGAIN. But to put it simply, this thing is crazily addictive. The amount of times I've had to force myself to step away from the console just to get some work done, and then find myself back 20 minutes later, convinced I can get it this time. But the million dollar question is this. Does this make up for the delay? Well, in a way, yes! With daily and weekly challenges to occupy your time, you could very well be playing this until the full release comes out. Or Pikmin 3. But it goes without saying that Ubisoft screwed up big time here. And I'm not talking about Encel and his team at Montpellier. I'm of course talking about the higher-ups at Ubisoft, especially their PR department. In the most recent Nintendo magazine, the man behind Legends, Michael Ansel, has stated that with the delay, they are putting 30 new levels, as well as new bosses in the game. Now why? Wasn't that made clear from day one? Instead of making the main focus of the press release the porting to other consoles, leaving Wii U owners already jaded from all these other companies ignoring the Wii U system so they can release new games on an 8 year old system, absolutely furious. Nintendo has done a bad job conveying the message of the Wii U itself 
than you did with this delay! Instead of making the new levels the main focus of the delay, you decided to put the multi-platform release front and center. And even though he should, I will say this though. Encel, don't quit Ubisoft. Until Beyond Good and Evil 2 is finished. The Rayman Legends Challenge app is available right now on the eShop, free of charge. And now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta pay Peter Moore a visit. <laughs> see you all next time. Wii U is the next gen console, huh? <laughs> we'll see about that, you bastard! Oh god! Oh god! Ah!